This is an introduction to the S3D2 Omron sensor controller family of product. This particular system here that you see happens to be the S3D2-BK-US. This product is used for the classic or traditional level control application. Uh, that level control can be controlling the level of either a liquid or a powder or dry good type of product. And in particular, in this setup here we have today, we have the S3D2-BK, uh, as you can see here, and we have two capacitive proximity sensors uh, wired into it, and they happen to be the E2K-L13MC1. These are the sight glass uh, proximity sensors that are used, and as you can see here, I have a LED indication for when each sensor turns on and off, and you can also see the indication on the sensor controller. The nice thing about the S3D2 is that it has the wiring diagram printed right on the lid of, of the unit. Um, but to set it up properly, you do need to remove the lid and uh, expose the screw terminals and the dip switches on the inside. So as you can see here, on the bottom half of the unit, I have my main power coming in, which is anything from AC 100 volts up to 240 volts single phase will power up this unit. Inside the S3D2, we have a transformer that transforms the AC power to a 12 volt signal uh, coming out on the top part of the unit. And in this particular version, the S3D2-BK, this requires the use of two sensor inputs. So in, in this uh, case, we have two NPN style uh, output proximity sensors wired into this unit. And incidentally, this only operates with NPN style sensor inputs. And then you simply connect your black, your blue, and your brown wires accordingly to your plus, your minus, and your input. Once you have your two sensors connected, then you need to set your logic dip switches. Uh, this is switch one, and this is switch number two. And in this case of uh, liquid level control, uh, input two needs to be inverted for the logic to work properly. At this point, we're going to demonstrate the actual logic and the application of a high level pump out of a wastewater container. And so the application is the water is in, the wastewater is intermittently filling a vessel to a high level switch and once the high level switch is activated it turns on a pump to pump out the wastewater and uh, and then uh, reset automatically when it hits the low level sensor. So in this case here the bottom sensor here as the wastewater starts to enter into the, the vessel my low level sensor turns on and the inverted logic makes the light turn out on the sensor controller. The water is filling, filling, filling until I reach the high level sensor and I have an input indication on input one and I also have an output and you heard the relay click which is your signal to turn on a pump and start pumping out water. As the water begins to pump out the water falls below the high level sensor and you can see that sensor turn off and as the water continues to to fall the water level it, at, at, at some point it ultimately comes off of the low level sensor the pump resets and now we're waiting for the tank to fill again and that was one complete cycle so I can say it again water comes in it hits the low level sensor it turns off it continues to fill until the high level sensor makes, turns on a pump, pumps out the wastewater, the water start, level starts to go down, the high level sensor turns off, the pump stays on until the water falls below the low level sensor and then the pump resets. And there's your application. Also consider that this same sensor controller can be used for the opposite application when you're, when you're uh, trying to determine uh, 
when you're running out of a product, like in a consumption type application, for instance, a, a gluing machine or a, a printing machine where you're trying to keep track of the consumption of ink or glue. And in that case, uh, you reverse your sensors, you change a dip switch, and then you have the reverse logic where as your tank becomes empty, your low level sensor tells a pump to turn on and it pumps ink into your vessel and stops when it hits a high level. And there you have the S3D2-BK sensor controller.